KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you, Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. Let me be clear. We are not here today to call victory from this virus. We can, however, begin to loosen our grip on the restrictions we put in place at the peak of this third surge by moving toward a responsible and gradual easing of restrictions. Effective Saturday at 8 a.m., outdoor dining at restaurants and bars will be allowed regardless of vaccination status. Indoor dining will continue to be restricted to just those vaccinated. Also effective Saturday morning, indoor social gathering limitations will be increased from 10 to 25 regardless of vaccination status. And for outdoor gatherings, it'll go from 25 to 75 no matter if you got the shot or not. I think uh, lifting of some of these restrictions would uh, allow more activities with our businesses. So uh, that has been, uh, it has been a factor in how we can continue to support uh, our businesses by allowing them uh, more uh, opportunities for patrons and customers. There are also changes for arriving international passengers. Effective midnight Saturday, those with FDA or WHO approved vaccinations will not have to be quarantined. Neither will those who have a negative antigen test result within one day of boarding. Meanwhile, to stay on course, the governor also encourages eligible people to get a booster shot and children aged five years to 11 to get vaccinated. To promote this, parents will get three hours of administrative leave to get their children vaccinated. The vaccine is safe, the vaccine is effective, and the vaccine is free. She says more changes could come as warranted, but cautions that they don't want to do too much too soon. The goal is to starve this virus and with fewer unvaccinated persons, the virus has fewer chances to survive. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.